Welcome everyone. Hey, my name is Eugene and this is my little bitty cooking show for you to eat. And uh, I am all about whole foods, plant-based cooking. Oh, and uh, doctor's orders, no oils. I bet I got something good for you. And if you want to adopt a healthier way of eating, come on in, check it out. Oh yeah, good morning everybody. Hey, I get up in the morning, I want something savory. This is one of my go-to breakfast here. Plant-based, oil-free omelet. Eh, it doesn't got no eggs in it, and it's not really a frittata or, you know, a fritter. You can call it whatever you want. I just call this good eating here. So plant-based, oil-free, uh, omelet kind of tasty thingy here. Got my great big-ass Zajirushi griddle going here. Tell you what, I could cook a tank on this thing here. It's so heavy-duty, and hey, and it wouldn't stick either. All right, so I got that warmed up, ready to go here going to use my little grater thing here. Couldn't find my big box grater, so I figured what the hell here. You know, it's only time, only time. So we're going to make us my plant-based omelet and my uh, my version of uh, sweet tater hash browns. Get them nice and a nice thin layer there. You want to mix it out, get some air in there. We want to get rid of some of that moisture and, of course, cook your sweet tater up here. Ain't, ain't going to take no time at all. And, of course, uh, you know, I love the taste of sweet taters, but I want to add a little bit of a zhuzh to it there. We're going to put some onion powder. Next, I'm going to grab that garlic powder, huh? Slap some garlic powder on there. Now, the down there, lower center there, you see some red stuff. Yeah, that that I'm grabbing right there. That is my proprietary blend that I put in that container of chili powder. Guajillo, ancho peppers, ground up with some cumin and garlic powder there. It's real good. So there I am chopping up my greens and some little bitty tomatoes. There now the greens, I got beet greens, I got kale. Basically clear out your crisper drawer. That's what you're doing here. That's why we make omelets, right? Plant-based omelets, clear out that crisper drawer. Okay, for the batter, because we ain't using eggs, we're going to use chickpea flour. Uh, you can get it in the Indian grocery stores. It's called B-San, B-E-S-A-N. If uh, you can't find it locally, check the link down below. I'll show you where to get it. Now, here's my secret ingredient, kala namak. I call that my stinky salt. That gives it that little bit of an egg twang in there. That's going to make it taste good, okay? So uh, check the link down below. I'll show you where you can get that stuff, too. And then, we, you know, we've got to zhuzh everything up, put some of my proprietary Terry chili powder in there, some onion powder, and of course I got to have that Italian breath freshener garlic in there, or it just ain't going to taste right, okay? Now then, we got the dry ingredients and it's time for something wet. We ain't going to use eggs, we ain't going to use no cooking oil. We're going to use some of Eugene's plant-based milk. That is a banana oat milk that I made up special. Mix it in with your flour. Now, it was hell getting all the little bitty chunks out of there. and Just some real super small bits were left, but hey, it all cooked up, steamed up. There wasn't any dry bits in there. So uh, let's go ahead and throw our veg in. Yeah, that's a piss poor camera work uh, thing there by me, yours truly, but hey, I got it mixed up, looked like this, slapped it on the griddle, you want to cook it nice and slow, you want it medium heat, maybe just a scooch over medium heat, take your time, I flipped it over, and that's what we got, cooked it for a few more minutes there to where it firmed up, and this is the result, you can make a bunch of these son of a bucks here, freeze them, you're going to have them ready for breakfast, slap you some salsa on it, and boy, howdy, it's so good, you know the next thing I got to say about this is, I hope you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up if you did, click subscribe, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching, y'all come back now, you hear?